Hello and welcome to another episode of Drive By Dudes. Today I'm going to show you how to top up your screen wash or washer fluid on a 2007 Citroen C4. Uh, it's really irrelevant with the engine size but this one is a 1.6 diesel also known as the HDI. So to do this you'll obviously need your screen wash I'd like to use a measuring jug. Um, this is a cheap measuring jug that costs about one euro fifty. Um, it's purely just for me mixing up fluids related to cars or other bits and bobs, not for using anything to eat with. If you're going to use a food measuring jug or one that you're using for the house, do check with your significant other or housemates if you have any. Um, some filtered water. You know we don't want to have any lime scale blocking up the washer jets or the washer nozzles. A tissue because we're going to spill something inevitably and what I like to do is after I've mixed up the concentrate I like to put it in a water bottle that way if I actually don't need that much screen wash in the car I have some left over for the next time. If you're going to use a pre-mixed washer fluid then you can actually skip this step this is a concentrate that we're going to dilute down to the temperature needs that we have. So once you have your concentrated screen wash, it's irrelevant the brand of it, um, check the dilution um, ratios on the back of it. So this particular one, if you want minus 30 degrees Celsius protection, you use it absolutely neat. So 100% of the concentrate. If you want minus 11, it's a 50-50 ratio. And if you want minus four, it's a 20-80 ratio. So 80% water to 20% concentrate. Um, so by using those ratios that are printed on the back of the bottle, you can kind of tweak it to the, whatever needs that you have. However, I wouldn't really recommend going any less than the minimum requirements. So the 20-80 mix, 20% concentrate to 80% water, because you still actually want that cleaning effect. If you dilute it too much, you may not have the cleaning effect that you're looking for on a windscreen, especially if there's any bugs or insects stuck to it. Um, so on this particular one, we're going to go to the minus 11 to 50, 50. Reason for that is I believe there's about a minus four mixture in the car already. However, we have had some particularly frosty mornings dipping below minus four lately. So I'm going to put minus 11 mixture into it, plus whatever minus four is in it already. It'll meet somewhere in the middle and that should give us enough protection. Okay. So open your bottle, there's really no need to shake it first, but if you really want to, make sure it's tight. Shake it. This is a one liter measuring jug and the bottle we have is a one liter bottle. So I'm going to mix this up to 500. Put in our water. There we have it. Get this out of the way, open your bottle, and just cross your fingers we don't actually spill anything. I have spilled some, but that's exactly where we have the tissue, isn't it? And after you've cleaned up after yourself, let's go outside and top up the car. So in order to actually top up your screen wash or washer fluid, you do need to open the bonnet of your car first. So on this particular car, the bonnet release lever is located on the passenger side of the Irish and UK delivered cars. To release the bonnet is under the chevron. Let's uh, secure the bonnet. And your screen wash washer fluid top up reservoir is over here 
get your screen wash that we've mixed up and pour it in. And there we have it. That's how you top up the screen wash on your 2007 Citroen C4 or probably virtually any C4. When the screen is up and you don't kick it over, you we have to save for next one. Lower your bonnet. Make sure it's secure. And that's it. So I really hope you enjoyed that video and found it useful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Driveway Dudes and you can find us on the usual social media platforms too.